we'll be discussing now the basic life support steps. The initial, if at all the patient collapses, the first thing is what? You look for the scene safety, right? If the patient is on the middle, you bring the patient to the corner of the road, right? And the first step is what? After scene safety, the next step is what, guys? The next step is you check for the response. You ask the patient, are you okay? If the patient is not responding, the third step is you call for help or you shout out for help. After shouting for help, the fourth step, you are with the patient, so you need to check for the pulse as well as breathing. So carotid pulsations you are looking for and you look at the chest movement. If there is no pulse, no breathing, that means he is in a state of cardiac arrest. Then what you need to do? For cardiac arrest, you need to start the CPR. For starting CPR, you take your hands and keep the hands on the lower third of the sternum, right? Normally first lie down the patient on a flat surface, keep your hands on the lower third of the sternum, elbows should be straight and while giving compression, the weight should be coming from the shoulders, right? Not from the elbows and you start your compression. As you are starting your compression like this, the depth of compression in adults that you achieve is 5 to 6 centimeters or 2 to 2.4 inches. Once you finish off your 30 compressions, the next step that you do is you open the airway of the patient. How will you open the airway? By head tilt or chin lift. Head tilt or chin lift. Right? You open the airway of the patient by head tilt, chin lift and then give rescue breaths. While giving rescue breaths, the eyes should be on the patient's chest. You look for the chest rise. Now imagine the person who you called for help, now he is presenting to you with an AED machine. With what guys? With an AED machine. What is AED? Automated external defibrillator. Once the AED machine is arrived, remember AED can be used by any person. You don't need to be a doctor. Okay? Why? Because AED is automated external. What you need to do is, you need to take two stickers. Stickers, baby, it will be written where to apply and all. Normally, one sticker you apply at the upper right of the sternum. Other sticker you apply at the lower side of the left chest. Other sticker you are applying at the lower side of left chest. After applying this AED pads, what you need to tell? You need to tell the command all clear. So basically, remember guys, one pad you are attaching at the right side of the sternum. Other pad you are attaching at the lower side of the left chest and then after attaching these pads you need to tell the command what all clear this is very important if you don't tell the command all clear the person nearby the patient who are there if they are holding the patient they will also get shocked okay third what will the machine do machine will analyze the rhythm and if required shock will be delivered now what is this meaning sir if required, shock is delivered. Now remember, shock is not given for all rhythms of the heart. Shock is given for only the shockable rhythms of the heart. What are the two shockable rhythms of the heart? The shockable rhythms are VT and VF. VT is ventricular tachycardia and VF is ventricular fibrillation. This kind of rhythm on ECG is called as ventricular tachycardia. Whereas this kind of rhythm on ECG, a scribbling type of rhythm on ECG is called as VF. These are the shockable rhythm that will require shock. Once the AED machine arrives, this is basically the AED machine guys. This is the AED machine. Once the AED machine arrives, what is the first step we need to do? We need to take the AED pads okay, and attach where? First pad you are attaching on the upper right of the sternum. And next AED pad, you take and attach it towards the left side or lower side of the left chest. After attaching this pad, you need to tell the command all clear. No one should be near the patient. And next, what will the AED machine do? AED machine will analyze the rhythm and if required, it will deliver the shock. Shock is given only for shockable rhythm that is VT and VF, right? But if at all there is a pediatric patient, then where will you attach the AED pads in pediatric? In pediatric cases, 
one AED pad is attached at the front, other AED pad is attached at the back of the patient.